join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Welcome. We um, have the uh, today's agenda in front of us. The, uh, the consent agenda has been prepared uh, for the board's consideration. If there's any items that you'd like removed or to uh, discuss further or for further consideration, uh, please say so now. Otherwise, we will vote on the consent agenda. I think uh, we received it on Friday, and Judy put it together very well for us. Thank you very much. Okay, well then, uh, can we have a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented? So moved. Second. Humphrey. Aye. Aina. Yes. Siebel. Yes. All right, to the non-consent agenda, we need a um, motion for resolution 18-17 to pay our bills in the amount of $963,136.73. Can we have a motion to that effect? So moved. Second. Mr. Kainer. Yes. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Mr. Hubel. Yes. Item two, another resolution, uh, 1917, to pay our bills in the amount of $51.57. Can we get a motion for item two? So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Mr. Hubel. Yes. Mr. Painter. Abstain. Item three, Pam. Morning. Morning. Pam Hepacost with the Claremont County Emergency Management Agency. Um, so number, item number three is a recommendation of Pam Hepacost, Director of the Claremont County Emergency Management Agency with the concurrence of Stephen H. Rabel, County Administrator, to nominate the following individual for appointment to serve on the Claremont County Local Emergency Planning Committee, representing the discipline identified as environmental, as approved by the Claremont County LEPC on January 26, 2017, effective January 26, 2017 through August 14th of 2017, pursuant to and in compliance with section 3750.03B of the Ohio Vice Code. So what we're doing is um, Dwight Culverson was on our um, LEPC and he has since left the county. Um, so we'll be replacing him with Randy Davis from um, Water Resources. And how many people are on that committee, Pam? Uh, let's see here. So. Um, we are required by Ohio Revised Code or, um, and by federal law to have certain disciplines represented. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 members currently. Um, and so and the discipline. on that committee. Yes. So the disciplines we have to have on the committee is uh, we have to have elected officials represented, we have to have law enforcement, emergency management, <coughs> first aid, which generally is um, represented by the Red Cross, health, environmental, hospitals, transportation, media, community groups, and then um, facility owners or operators who are regulated under the um, SARA Title III program, or SARA Title II program, sorry. And how often do you guys meet? We meet quarterly, so we meet in January, <coughs> April, um, July, and September. And the reason we meet in September is because we have some reporting requirements and our annual hazardous materials plan review is due October 17th. So we meet to approve the updates on our plan in September. Good. Thank you. And so the State Emergency Response Commission requires that we do um, appointments or recommendations. So the LEPC makes a recommendation for membership to the Board of County Commissioners and then you would make a nomination. Um, so once it gets approved, it'll go to the State Emergency Response Commission for approval. Um, and they, they meet every other month, I believe. And, uh, but we're, they currently have a two year cycle. So most of our appointments went into effect August of 2015 and they'll run through August of 2017. So this is just an addition. And then um, in August, we will be coming back before the board to 
review the entire list of members. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Well, can we get a motion to nominate Randy Davis uh, for appointment to serve on the Claremont County Local Emergency Planning Commission as uh, outlined in item three? So moved. Second. Painter. Yes. Mr. Humphrey. Uh, aye. Mr. Hubel. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks, Pam. Morning, Doug. Morning. Item four. <coughs> Item number four is a recommendation of Steve Rabel, County Administrator, to acknowledge the receipt of notifications from Pat Munger, the County Engineer, on January 26th and January 27th, 2017, of his determination to close the following roads to through traffic with the understanding that the all advanced warning and detour signs will be erected and maintained accordingly, pursuant to and compliant to Section 5543.17 of the Ohio, Ohio Revised Code. The first is for Forest Trail approximately 140 feet south of Old Stack Route 74, located in Union Township for the Forest Trail Culvert, Forest Trail Culvert Replacement Project in concert with the Claremont County Transportation Improvement District Project, which is Eichholz Road Connector Project, beginning Monday, January 30th through Friday, March 24th. That is also include, or shown on the detour map. The second closure is for Old State Route 74 between the intersections of Mount Carmel Tabasco Road and Eichholz Road Rust Lane, which is located in Union Township, and that is also in conjunction with the I Colt Road Connector Project, and beginning February 6th through Friday, April 28th, as depicted on the detour map, which also includes a permanent closure of the southern access of Old State Route 74 at <coughs> State Route 32 um, as of February 6th, and with local traffic to be maintained and all businesses along Old State Route 74 to be accessed from Mount Carmel Tabasco Road. Okay. Uh, can we get a motion to acknowledge receipt uh, from the county engineer to close the, the roads as reference forest trail and old 74 and as outlined in item four? So moved. Second. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Mr. Painter. Yes. Mr. Hubel. Yes. I saw the announcement go out too. Okay. <clears throat> Doug, because of all that kind of stuff is, is dependent on weather. What <coughs> happens if you get impacted when you're? When well, we, we try to account. We know what time of the year it is. We try to account for that somewhat as far as our our time frame. Okay. Um, you know, there, it's always possible that if it rains now and snows and whatever through March, I mean, yeah, things might be delayed. But knowing that we'll probably have at least a couple weeks of downtime here in the next month or so. Okay. We should be all right. Thanks. Five. Number five. Okay. Number five is a recommendation of Pat Munger County Engineer to adopt resolution 20-17, resolving to authorize Pat Munger to execute, certify, and submit an application for financial assistance for emergency funding for the Chapel Woods Drive Bridge Repair Project situated in Batavia Township. Any matters outlined below to the Ohio Public Work Commission out of Columbus, Ohio, including all understandings and assurances therein required, and to act in accordance with the application and to provide such additional information as may be required. Pursuant to in compliance with Chapter 164 of the Ohio Revised Code, to authorize Patrick J. Munger as the designated Chief Executive Officer upon receipt thereof, to execute the Ohio Public Works Commission Project Grant Agreement for Project Control Number CU11T relative thereto, with the understanding that a fully executed copy of the reference agreement will be provided to the Board of County Commissioners for the recording thereafter, and to designate, authorize, and approve the Claremont County Transportation Improvement District to manage and contract for the construction services for the Chapel Woods, Bri Chapel Woods Drive Bridge Repair Project pursuant to and in compliance with the terms and conditions set forth in the Ohio Public Works Commission Grant Agreement. Therefore, and in concert with the Claremont County Transportation uh, Improvement District, PID number 90500, relative thereto. This is a OPWC project that we got emergency funding for. We got uh, it's a three hundred fifty thousand dollar project, and we got two hundred eighty thousand dollars for the grant. grant. Yeah, who? Yep. Bring our money back to Claremont County. Yep. Good use of funds. To yeah, stretch, we, stretch the funds. Yeah. yeah, we've used this emergency funds um, two or three times. At least two or three times, just in the last couple of years. Um, we used mm -hmm. it last year, the year before, for Wolf Pen Slide. We helped. Uh, um, Road Township. Road Township on South Altman. Altman. South Altman. So, it's if we have an emergency that comes up, they, they have money set aside for those types of projects. 
Can we get a motion then to uh, adopt resolution 20-17 as outlined in item 5? So moved. Second. Mr. Painter? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Hubel? Yes. And item 6. Number 6 is a recommendation of Pat Munger, County Engineer, concur to Steve Rabel, County Administrator, to adopt resolution 2117, resolving to authorize the County Engineer to employ labor, purchase materials, and proceed by force account in the maintenance, repair, construction, <coughs> and roads bridges and culverts in Claremont County, Ohio during fiscal year 2017 with the county engineer to submit estimates of cost before proceeding with each project to the Board of County Commissioners using force, force account assessment form developed by the Auditor of State pursuant to in compliance with sections 117.16 and 5543.19 of the Ohio Revised Code. Okay, can we get a uh, motion to accept resolution uh, 21-17. Make a motion to adopt resolution 2117. Second. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Painter? Yes. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Seven? Number seven. Seven is a recommendation of Pat Munger, County Engineer, concurrence of Steve Rabel, County Administrator, to accept the contract by and between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and Batavia, or Barrett Paving Materials out of Middletown, Ohio for Project RS-04-16 relative to the 2016 Road Resurfacing Program Phase 1 located in various townships as of October 13, 2016 and to approve payment number 3 and final which repre represents the release of retainage in the amount of $33,205.01 and the final payment therefore. We get a motion to accept the contract with Barrett Paving Materials, Inc for project RS-04-16 and to approve final payment number three as referenced in item seven. So moved. Second. Mr. Painter? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Item eight? Item eight is a recommendation of Jason Fountain, the Thanks, assistant Doug. prosecuting attorney, to execute a satisfaction of mortgage and authorize the recorder to release the said mortgage record for the following property as it relates to the Claremont County Community Housing Improvement Program or CHIP program and the property is located at 4429 Springfield Court in Batavia, Ohio. We get a motion to execute a satisfaction of mortgage as referenced in the table in item 8. So moved. Second. Aye. Painter. Yes. Mr. Yubel. Yes. Hi, Yvonne. Good morning. Yvonne Smith, Benefit Plan Coordinator. Is my recommendation with the concurrence of Thomas Eigel, Assistant County Administrator, to acknowledge the application submitted on or around 11 1 of 2016 and to approve the contract for stop loss insurance coverage between Claremont County Board of County Commissioners and Sun Life Assurance Company of Canada, a subsidiary of Sun Life Financial of uh, Massachusetts? to provide stop loss insurance coverage for the county's medical plan. Coverage effective is 1117 through 1231 of 17, <coughs> pursuant to and in compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein and contingents upon the issuance of a, and receipt of a purchase order, therefore. Okay. We get a motion to acknowledge the application submitted and to approve the contract for stop loss insurance with Sun Life Assurance Company as referenced in item 9. So moved. Second. Mr. Painter? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Siobhan. Okay, we, um, anything else, Tom? In the executive Ross? session. I mean, uh, besides that, we're fine? Okay. We get a motion then um, to go into executive session pursuant to section 121-22G2 and G3 of the Ohio Revised Code to first consider the purchase of the property for public purposes or for the sale of property at competitive bidding, and secondly, to confer with the prosecuting attorney regarding pending or imminent litigation, respectively. So moved. Second. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Painter? Yes. Mr. Yuval? Yes. Okay, we'll take a recess, we'll be back. We are back from executive decision or executive session. Uh, no decisions were made or votes taken. And um, in the process, we have the minutes from today in front of us. And um, 
we can uh, look through them and uh, when either one of you are ready we can entertain a motion to approve the minutes Make that motion, David. I'll make the motion that we approve the minutes of our regular session on February the 8th, 2017, as written. So moved. Second, rather. Sorry. Mr. Second. Pena? Yes. Humphrey? Aye. Hubel? Yes. Anything else? Yes, sir. Assistant County Administrator. No, okay, if there's nothing else, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Tainer? Yes. Mr. Yes. Thank you for coming. <laughs>